Okay, y'all, if you have a mini waffle iron or a regular waffle iron, I'm going to show you how this morning how you can take zero carb tortilla shells and how you can make a quick and easy breakfast, lunch for your kids, school lunches, snacks, dinner. Uh, you can make them sweet, you can make them savory, and I'm going to show you how to do that this morning. Y'all stay tuned. Good morning, y'all. I am Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and I am kind of uh, in a dilemma this morning. I want to show y'all how to do something, but it's several different steps, and I'm not sure exactly how I want to go about doing it. So I thought and thought, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to get on, and I'll start doing it and hope it works out. Um, I showed y'all how I did some fried pies with my zero carb uh, little tortilla shells the other day. And I'm going to show you how I make kind of like a quesadilla this morning with them. And I've got two different sizes. They're two different name brands. This one is also, uh, it says keto friendly. It has no carbs in it. Now these are not gluten free. You can buy the gluten free uh, tortilla shells but they're not low carb or some of them are not low carb you'll just have to read the directions i mean read the ingredients and read the the label on the back but these two happen to be carb counter keto friendly did you get both of these where i got both of these at walmart okay most of my stuff comes from walmart uh, if it doesn't, I'll tell you Kroger, Publix, or whatever. But most Aldi's. of my things, Aldi's, yeah, are Aldi's. But Aldi's doesn't sell the zero carb ones. Now, I've got two, I've got three different uh, appliances here. This one is a big, bigger waffle iron. This one is my little mini waffle iron. And this is a pancake maker right here my grandson and his wife gave this to me several years ago and when i make pancakes for the kids i'll use this because i can make four at one time so i'm going to turn this one on medium i've got these two on now i have got some i had this in the refrigerator left from some things that i made the other day this is just ground beef and sausage and peppers and onions okay this one is eggs peppers onions and cheese right there this is going to be my fillings this is some ham now you can use sandwich ham but i happen to have a, a spiral ham that i have sliced and that's really what we like so uh that's what i'm using today i've got pepper jack cheese I've got sharp cheddar cheese that I grated. I have got mild sliced uh, cheddar cheese. You can use uh, Italian cheese, whatever cheeses you want. This is just a variety of things that you can use. And then that's my pepper jack cheese right there. All right. I'm going to set those to the side. <clears throat> now i guess this one hasn't heated up yet so i'll i'll start with these all right now the way i'm going to do my bigger one these are kind of, these are like quesadillas i'm just doing them in waffle irons instead of on top of the stove because to me it's easier and i just like it that way so i'm going to put some ham on this one these i'm going to do in my smaller ones i'm going to do a ham one um in my bigger one here okay and i'm going to use this the uh, sharp cheddar cheese because we like it all right now this one will probably feed two people right here or it would me and roy now if you're a big eater you can eat a whole one but all right now I'll just take another one and I'm going to put it on top. Honey, if you'll come around this side. And my thing is smoking. It fits perfectly right down in this one. So I'm just going to 
kind of push it down like that. All right, now this one's really hot. All right, I'm going, as you can see, they fit really well in there. Now, I'm going to take some of my egg, peppers, and onion and cheese mixture. Now, this can be a breakfast one. It has cheese in it, but I'm going to put a little bit more just to make it kind of stick together better. Okay. Now, I think I'll put uh, a slice of cheese on top of that one. Now, this is a little uh, tortilla shell that I tore a little bit, but it's going to be all right in this. And I'll just press it down like that, and it'll kind of stay. All right. Now, if you don't have your little tortilla shells, you can use bread. Bread fits in this one, and bread fits in this one. I've already tried it. It fits perfectly in here. Well, you'll have a little edge on uh, outside but to come out, but that'll be fine. It fits really nicely in there. Now I'm going to do one with bread for those of you that are not low carb and that don't mind the, uh, that don't, you know, that just want to use bread because you don't always have the tortilla shells. And I'm going to do ham and cheese. So I'll put my ham and I'm going to do pepper jack cheese. No, I'm not going to waste my pepper jack cheese. I like pepper jack cheese. <laughs> and I won't be eating this one. So, <laughs> so I'm going to put some sharp cheddar. On here now this cheese melts really really good now in the others all right here is some just uh sausage ground beef peppers and onions all right I'm gonna put that in this one I'll do a couple out of this so your fillings are just according the to what fillings you got are what you've got what, yes mm-hmm yep and you can use sweet fillings if you want. You can. You can. You, yes, you can use apple. You can use pear. Just whatever fillings you have or you decide you want to make. Like you can do this like a, a quesadilla apple hand pie tart or whatever. Uh, and it'll be delicious. Instead of having to having to fold them over and fix them, you can do them like this and they'll be really good. All right, now uh, I need this piece of bread. I'm just going to put that down, smash it down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use pepper jack cheese right here. All right, I got to check these over here. Now you use as much cheese as you want because I don't want these to get too brown, but I want them to melt really good. Okay. They're doing good. Uh, now I need more shells. Okay. Just put these on here like this. On top. Close your lid. And just kind of press it down. Just like that. And I've got it on medium. So uh, I'll check it in just a few minutes. And I'll... This one, they're, you know, they're electric. So I'm not... I'm not too much worried about them, but these uh, on the stove top, I'm not sure exactly what temperature I'll need. Now I hear this one over here sizzling. Oh, it looks good. Looks really good. I think it's ready because I hear that cheese melting. Oh, come here, honey. Let me show them. See all that cheese right there? Mm -hmm. That's ready. All right, I'm going to put it on my platter. I'll turn it over. Okay. It didn't get real brown. If you want it browner than this, uh, you can leave it in longer. This one, I want to show you this one. Now, this one's getting really brown. Mm. Okay. Now, 
Look at that. Those are the perfect, perfect little quesadillas. Look at all that cheese. See how it's melted in there? This one is melted. Like I say, if you want it browner, then just leave it in there a little bit longer. I better check these. The way I'm going to do that, I'm going to turn it over. Is it browner or more browner? Browner. <laughs> <laughs> the way you can check these, you turn it over. You hold your handle, turn it over, and if they are... Uh, Start if they're brown enough, then you can uh, brown them. When you turn them over, it'll brown them on the bottom side. But these aren't as brown as I want on the bottom, so I'm gonna leave them a little bit longer. Now, uh, I think that's the ones I wanted to show you. I'm not gonna make a whole bunch of these this morning because <laughs> when I can't eat them. <laughs> So, but I did want to show you how you can, if you've got tortilla shells and some ham, cheese, whatever you've got in the refrigerator, you can run in there. This can be, this can be breakfast. Your ham and cheese can be breakfast. Your others, you can use salsa with it if you want to use it as a lunch or a snack or a supper. Uh, you like can. Jelly berry, uh, sugar free sure, berries. Sure, sure. Uh, just ever how, use your imagination. Like, I just thought, you know what? These are zero carb. I know there are lots of things that you can do with them. And I'll tell you what I've done with these. I have put butter on them. And I have mixed some, for the children, I have mixed some sugar and cinnamon together and put a little butter on it sprinkled it put it in the oven and i made cinnamon toast uh you can just put cheese on these put it in the oven and just make an open face cheese sandwich there these are so so versatile you can do so many things with these let me check this again well you're using you're using leftovers that you've had i am yes you, they could do that and when they have leftovers don't know what to do Make some of these and throw them in the freezer, couldn't they? Yes. Because you're... It's, yeah, especially the smaller ones. Now, the bigger ones, yeah, you can put them in the freezer. I just don't have this kind of freezer space for the bigger ones. Now, what you can do with these, where your uh, waffle iron has the indentions in it, you just cut it in four pieces. It didn't cut through good. You just cut it in four pieces like that. And as Kale would have said, you'd have had a little piece, little pieces of pizza. You can put pepperoni in. Oh, I, sh I, I ran out of pepperoni. You can put pepperoni in these and cheese. You can make little pizza waffle uh, tortilla shells. I guess that's what you call them. But look at that. I mean, it is a, it's a quesadilla done in a waffle iron. So this, I just want to come on and show y'all just, uh, just how you could use things that you have, and especially the ones that are low carb, and are using the uh, low carb or the the no carb uh, tortilla shells. And if if they don't have these waffle arms, they can do what? You can do it on a on you you can do it on the top of the stove. I've got a little pan, little cast iron pan. Uh, I've got several different sizes, but you can do it. See that one? That's the one with the egg and cheese and all in it. I'm going to taste that one. Mmm. Y'all, that's good. Okay. I think this one is ready. So if you've got these in the freezer and it's Monday morning and the kids are looking for what to throw in a lunch bag or eat for breakfast, mm -hmm. you got it in the freezer, you just take it out and you're okay. ready, aren't you? Yes, you're ready. All right, let me see if my cheese is melted. <clears throat> these are so good and it's just a simple way that if you have a waffle iron, it's just a simple way that you can have a quick and easy breakfast, lunch, snack, supper. Put a salad with it, and you're good to go. So, in fact, that's what we're doing for lunch. Isn't it? This Salads is what we're doing these. for lunch: salads and these. Yep. So, 
Love y'all. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back in healthy food. And please share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. And make you some of these delicious quesadillas. Love you. All right. So here are your round ones, mm -hmm. and there's your bread one.